Hello, in this week's tech tip, we're going to be looking at Jeopardy Labs, a way to create not PowerPoint Jeopardy presentations, but an online format. And it's really easy. I always hated it when I would use PowerPoint and I have to go back between each question and each answer slide. And that kind of got chaotic. And then we have so many slides I have to go through and so forth. Well, this makes it a lot easier. So, uh, what I'd like to show you here, of course, you go to JeopardyLabs.com, you would hit enter. You have three different options. One is build, one is browse, one is login. The login is not necessary. It does give you some additional features, but I found that just building one, using browse to locate others was really all I needed to do. Uh, builds the same thing as start building, browse is the same thing as start browsing. Uh, again, there's no fees, there's no registration, and guess what? There's no PowerPoint. It looks like it, but it's not. It's online. It works on Macs, works on PCs, it works on iPads. So let's start out by just clicking build. And when you go to the build screen, notice that you do have the option of over here becoming a Jeopardy Labs member. It's $20 lifetime. You may want to do it. Like I said, I didn't see the need. I think what it does is it does give you a couple of options. Number one is that it stores all your templates under your name. And then the second thing it does is it does not show your templates. The difference in the quick build is that my templates will be shown on Google if you search for those. Be honest, I don't care. So I'm going to use the quick build. Uh, the one thing about the quick build over on the left hand side is you have to have a password. I'll just use a simple password and then on that password it can be the same on every one of the other ones that you build um, what I would do is I would create some kind of Excel template to put my information in and I'll show you that here in just a moment uh, once you have your password in you hit start building notice at the top you get your title well, I'll just make a quick title I'll just call this unit one and I'll just say geometry it doesn't really matter uh, and I don't have to use all the uh, cells. For instance, here, I'm going to entitle this one basic. Maybe this one points. Uh, maybe this one lines. And maybe plain here. And what I can do then is once I have all my categories, notice how quick that was. I'm not going to enter this one. I only want four uh, columns. Uh, for the 100 point, maybe I'll just put an answer point, line, and plane. So what's the question? What is the three undefined terms in geometry? Maybe I want to use that. I hit continue. I don't have to go from slide to slide to slide. So notice now that one's gone. It's actually been built. A point. Uh, maybe I'll put dot. Uh, what is uh, the representation of a point on a graph. Again, that was as quick as it was. My answer and my question are in there. Maybe here the answer is two. Uh, what is the number of points that I need uh, to construct a line Continue. And then maybe one more here. We'll do this real quickly. Uh, maybe here, let's say three non collinear points. Um, what is the number of points that is needed, needed to name a plane? Maybe here, what is the least amount of points. And again, you can use whatever. I'm just going to hit OK. Once you're finished, you hit Save. And that's it. It's really hard. So I hit Save. Um, what it gives me is a couple of things. It gives me number one to play, I go here. Now it's only had that one role with those questions at the 100s. I could have put more, I just didn't have enough time to do it. Um, if I need to go back and edit, here's the link to the edit. Uh, if I want to actually put in some HTML code,
code into my web page or my blog, it's right here. I would just copy and paste it. Again, here's the link. Um, I did say that I'd show you here, like for instance, here's a Jeopardy URL, like I did that one. I want to copy this. I put it here. Uh, for the editing one, maybe I want to keep this. I copy it, paste it, my password, and store that in here. And then I would, of course, save it. And that way, if I need to ever go back and edit or link it to my web page, that's it. I've got the links here. And as you can see, this is easily linked to any page. Uh, I can uh, also do some other things. But let's go in and quickly look at the game and then come back, okay? So if I click the link, I go to the game. I can select up to 12 teams, it looks like. I'll select two here just to play. Uh, I could edit it from this menu. I can download it, which means it would run off the internet without the internet being there. Really cool. I mean, you don't have to have the internet connection as long as you download it. And I could share it, and you can see that there are multiple ways to share it out to others. Uh, but for right now, let's hit start. Here are the categories. Um, you could use a play. Notice at the bottom here are the teams. There's a plus and a minus. Plus for the correct amount, minus for the minus points. For instance, if I hit basic, Notice here, point line and plane comes up. I would ask my audience what the answer is. Once we went through all that, we could say here's the correct response. Uh, we could add points to the teams that got it right. We could actually take points from the teams who didn't get it right. Um, then we would hit continue. What's cool is that question is no longer there. And we go to the next one and so forth. And so once you are done, of course, you would have your teams win. Now, this thing does not do Jeopardy round one, Jeopardy round two, and final. What you could do is make each three different uh, templates. So once you're done with that, let's go back. Uh, and that's it, really, to create one. But let's say I need to find one. I could hit Browse, and I could search for maybe um, congruent triangles. Uh, and it searches for those in here. And so here we go. I've already got one. i got two teams. And I can play the game again. But let's say I want to make this my own. Or I want to use the edit. I will go into edit. Notice the difference here. It says, yes, is this my template? It's not. No. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. I want my code. Click go. Guess what? There it is. I hit save. I can modify it. And now I could copy my link, just like I did before. Go to my spreadsheet where I'm saving everything. Uh, my edit template here, if I want to put it in, I'm just doing this real quickly again. Put my password in, and then there we go. Of course, I would right click and copy. And again, here's the information, the same as before. But that's as easy as it is. And it is a useful tool not only to use with your staff or with your students, but also with your staff. I know uh, during a well, actually the last two Icurio uh, trainings, uh, they included a Jeopardy type thing, and I think they used Jeopardy Labs to actually build it, and it was uh, very enjoyable. I mean, really good competition. It's a good way to engage students. So if you like this, of course, uh, share with a friend, but also post on the holler because we need to hear from you. And if you have questions, you can email me at jeff.coots at jacksonind.kyschools.us. And uh, have a good day.